Yeah, the, the great question is how is bone marrow obtained? There's lots of different ways to obtain bone marrow, but specifically you're piercing the periosteum or the outside of the bone by some method and then you're aspirating or extracting the bone marrow from inside the cell. Bone marrow specifically is the spongy material that's inside the bones. Typically doctors get the bone marrow from either the pelvis, which is near the back, or the tibia bone. Specifically, the tibia bone is, is basically this long bone. That's the shin bone. So uh, carrying medical, ag again, for the ease of getting uh, the bone marrow, we like to use the tibia. And the tibia is a very uh, thin bone compared to the back. So the actual process of obtaining the uh, bone marrow from the tibia is less painful. I mean, it can be done within seconds, and it actually doesn't feel much different than normal prolotherapy. And we've been very happy at this, with this method as far as obtaining the bone marrow. Is the process of obtaining bone marrow painful? People kind of laugh, because in the office it's very common, like is prolotherapy painful? Absolutely prolotherapy is painful. Is the process of obtaining bone marrow painful? Absolutely it's painful, but, you know, and again, I've had bone marrow obtained from me for bone marrow prolotherapy three times. Actually, within an hour after this session of videotaping, I'm gonna get my fourth, you know, bone marrow procedure, because I don't feel like it's fair for me to do a procedure on somebody when I myself haven't had the procedure. And people often ask me, well, why did you get the procedure? Folks don't realize, even though I've done five Ironman triathlons, I was born with a crooked right foot. So my right foot turns out. So because of that, I have some chondromalacia patella. I have a little bit of cartilage wear beneath my kneecap. Having said that, though, you know, I still run. I've done numerous ultra marathons, marathons, but again, trying to be preventative so I can, you know, run the rest of my life and be active. I've chosen to get bone marrow prolotherapy because I believe in the procedure. Having said that, if it wasn't for the sound of the drill, I actually wouldn't notice, I wouldn't even know that I was, that they were obtaining the bone marrow. Like, in other words, if you've had normal prolotherapy, obtaining the bone marrow basically feels just like normal prolotherapy. In other words, you feel a little prick of the skin. The whole process of obtaining the bone marrow the way that we do it, it literally takes like one second. So for one second, you know, you feel a little pinch, you know, when the uh, drill actually goes through the periosteum, but it doesn't feel any different than if somebody had regular prolotherapy. And I should say, you know, obviously the area is anesthetized. So the area is anesthetized with some, we use procaine, but any kind of anesthetic. So, I, you know, to me, I didn't really feel it when I've done it on folks. They just were astonished at how little pain there actually was. So to answer the question, it does hurt, but, you know, again, it's just a second. And for me, it hurt a lot less than I thought it was, and it really wasn't any big deal.